Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First down, Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away, you're talking to just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over. But he ended up finding another receiver. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Now Mahomes, work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be wrangled to the ground right there at the 32-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Man open. That's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 41 yard line. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Looking to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Hardnight came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Allen now on first down. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Allen going to throw. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 32 yards. And the Bills are on the board first here on the road. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. A oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I thought the days of the fake extra point were numbered once they moved these kicks back to the 15. Apparently, I was mistaken. Yeah, I was wondering who was ever going to try to do this. In fact, I quit wondering. I didn't think it would ever happen. Taking a fake from the 15-yard line to try and pick up an extra point, I didn't think anyone would ever call this. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 59.
Nine yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, so they go the conservative route instead, and it gets them a 7-6 lead here in the opening quarter. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Throwing on first down is Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Here's second and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he's brought down. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the hookup with Diggs. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Bills are once again back in front. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that what? There he goes, right side. Still going inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 81 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Uh, and, and am I seeing this correctly? They brought out the field goal team here on first down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And all oh, the gamble fails. It's incomplete. Legereus Sneed right there to knock it away. Well, go ahead and mark that down. It's one of the most bizarre first down calls in the history of the National Football League. A fake, and it backfires. But well, we've seen a lot of first down. Yeah, you're right. And we've seen a lot of innovation throughout the years in the NFL. I mean, we've gone from the single wing to the team formation to shotgun, right? Running spread, run and shoot, you name it, right? It's a first down field goal. First fake. down field goal fakes. I think that's an innovation that will not catch on. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Rolling to his right. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. 
they'll fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they were in field goal range last time out but couldn't connect. It's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Throwing now is Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. On second down, here's Mahomes. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's going to go up top again. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. 
I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. Stephon Diggs! Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs! What is going on here? Four first quarter touchdowns. Unbelievable. Yeah, the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he is going to get in. But there is a flag down. Let's sort this out here. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand and they'll take that. Someone really wanted to be in the lead here because that's a heck of a gamble, isn't it? You're down one, you kick it, you got a tie ball game. Instead, they fake it. And I keep coming back to this every time I see it. Remember, if you're faking an extra point now, the ball stepped at the 15 yard line. Yeah, you're line. giving up 13 yards as opposed to just lining up at the two and saying you're going to go for two. You're running a big play, lots of yardage for one extra point. That's a heck of a gamble, but it paid off in this case. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Eluding the pressure right. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Forced out to his left. Oh, he'll try and throw it deep to the other side of the field. It's caught at the 10. And he goes diving to get as much as he can, following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs have yet again retaken the lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make this a six-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now a second and ten. Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. 
Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs, 46 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from taking the lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the... And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. The offenses have success. You could say they've run wild a little bit. Time for the defenses to get into the act, and one does here. Nothing like a little bit of revenge for the defense. They've had to deal with it all game long. Both offenses going up and down the field. How about it when they take the ball away and take it to the other end zone? Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is up to eight. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Townsend. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Looking to throw. Townsend. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. It was no secret who they were trying to get the football to. Well, no, they went to him on first down, second down, third down, all three incomplete. Yeah, and when you're unable to connect and you force it in that direction, all you're doing is giving confidence to the defense. They feel like they're really hurting you in a big way. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Here's Allen on first and 10. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs. 41 yards. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. That ball caught. It's Rice. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. 
Operating from the gun, Townsend. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Vandez Scantling with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Butker is on target. And now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it to get. Thrown across the field, and that will easily be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Gregory Rousseau works his way in for the stop and the loss. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Operating from the gun, Townsend. And incomplete here, so a little razzle-dazzle on that one, but they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And they're going to try this again. It's another fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Throwing is Allen on third, rolling to his left. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. Oh, he tried to throw back over the middle, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do, to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really... Travis Kelsey! Big strides, look at him go. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 62 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six.
Extra point by Butker is on target. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so try to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try... And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Logarius Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take over here up near the 40. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect to learn a lot from him at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Townsend. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. To throw again, Townsend. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. Back to throw again. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And a short gain here down to the 22. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Again, he'll drop to throw. And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively, and it'll be fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. Butker's kick here is good, and they have regained the lead. So the defense able to force the interception and the offense working their way into field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides would be thrilled with that. On first down, Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. He's in the space past the 25. Now he's loose again. Touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 49 yards as they have taken the lead. to fake it and that one goes virtually nowhere tried to fake extra point but nothing comes of it okay they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt it's a long way to go and they didn't get there didn't get it completed successfully did someone dare them to do that did, did, did someone double dog dare them I was to do that? Was maybe that? They, they saw something on film but do you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT I don't know the only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap a hold and someone kicking the ball through the post the KC offense out of the huddle ready for their next drive 
And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Looking to throw on second down. Townsend. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Off the play fake, Townsend. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 43. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. They'll look to throw again. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. To throw on third down, Townsend. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. Thanks to his effort, they now have a big choice to make here. He just ran them in the field goal range with that one, so here come the choices. Do they kick it here, or do they trust him to make another big play and possibly get a first down? And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been... Stephon Diggs! And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Being chased out left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This offense thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back. But also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, Try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit. Let them catch their breath. Now 
problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. Looking to throw. Townsend. Well, that one caught by Rice. Down the left sideline. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. <laughs> Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Allen's throw is complete, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Mills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Allen to throw once more. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And this is caught at the 8. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense down here? And now they're set up with a first and goal. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage. But the Stephon Diggs! Now he's into the clear again. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs, 63 yards, and the Bills have cut it back within a score. Allen will try to throw for it, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and with it, they're back within a field goal. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Fighting his way through contact. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 